suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite products include dependable stay-full batteries, battery cable, starting motor, fuel pump, bullseye seal beam headlights, horn, distributor cap, distributor, coil, and a complete line of ignition-engineered Autolite spark plug designed for every use from the sturdy, heavy-duty transport type to the world-famous standard and resistor type. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. So from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. Now, Autolite and its 98,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. timely story is the dramatic report of a man's desperate race for freedom. Of necessity, all names used are fictitious. the message book. Do you know if it's ready? No, I don't. I was sent down here for a file. It seems to be ready. Will you tell Misha I've taken the book when he returns? Yes, I'll tell him.
Misha, Comrade Zapotin was just here. He took the message book. Ivan, would you do Papa a favor? Would you run down to the corner and get him a package of cigarettes? Now, quickly, Ivan. And come right back. Here, and buy some candy for yourself. Huh? Meryl, what is it? Meryl! Linda, how long have we wanted to laugh and sing and play when we wanted to and how we wanted to, like the people around us here in Mexico? For how long? Wanted to escape. Maris, I don't understand. No. Months we should have done it. Months ago. Now we can no longer wait. We can no longer plan. Maris, what's happened? This morning a message came from Moscow. <laughs> Special agents inform us Maris Lekar. No longer a good security risk, since he has become gregarious, made so many friends among the Mexicans and the Americans. You will return him and his family at once to Russia, where the necessary steps will be taken. Did he know about this at the embassy? Perhaps by now. The necessary steps? Yes. Exile. Death. I'm going to pack our things and take the child away. No, no, I've known flight when death was close. I'll not have you or our child a part of it. I have a plan. Oh. <laughs> For over a year now, I've had this plan. Now listen to me. I've stolen certain papers from the embassy. Documents of theirs which may help us buy back our lives. Now come here. Buy back our lives from home. Who want to deal with us now? Now, Amelia, please listen to me. You're I'm to listening. Take these papers. You're to take these papers and put them in my briefcase. You're to take the boy. You're to go to the Plaza Socolo, the bench near the great fountain. You're there so you can get sunshine for the boy if anyone asks. You're to keep the briefcase hidden until I come to you. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Shall I take any clothes? No, no. There won't be time. By now. The coding clerk has returned. Comrade, the potent knows. Oh, Meryl. Now hurry, Lydia, hurry. Here you are, Papa. Oh, thank you, Ivan. Ivan, you're to go put your clothes on. You're to do as your mother says. Papa! Is something wrong? Well, I've never been home in the morning like this. Yvonne, go with your mother. Come, Yvonne. We have to change your face. You come inside with me. Out through the kitchen. But Mero. Do what I say. Oh, it's all right. It's in your car, don't it? Please hurry. I'll let him in. Oh, Senor Cardoza. Senor Lego, I am surprised it was not you I expected to find at this hour. Please, come in. The day is beautiful, and in the streets there is fiesta. And I thought to myself, my neighbor, the Senora Lego, would care for fiesta. She and the pequeño, so I come to offer myself as a guide, as a pointer out of things. That's very kind of But me. now I find you mysteriously home from the embassy. Have they give you holiday? No. Ah, oh, the senora and the pequeño. Muy, muy buena tía to you both. Well, Lydia, we don't have much time. You better hurry. I know that. You will forgive us, senor Pato. Oh, you're going to the fiesta. I will go no. with you. Senor, you have been our friend now for many months. I think you should know that 
My family and I have been ordered back to Moscow. Ah, you have received a promotion. We have well, many things to do, senor. We must go, Ivan. You will excuse us. But of course. Thank you. I cannot tell you how sorry I am to see that you are leaving. But for a promotion, <laughs> we will have a party before you go. Oh, you must excuse me, senor, but there are so many last minute oh, but things. Of course, of course. I've chosen a very bad time. Perhaps tonight. Yes, tonight. Good, good. When is this? When is this? I got a mislated comrade. It was on the desk. I was to paste it up when I returned from lunch. And the message was about Meros? Yes, comrade. It's returned to Russia. Well, you have the original of the message. Decode it again. Connect me at once with the ambassador. Attaché at the Russian Embassy. I remember you well. It was very nice of you to see me, sir. What do you wish of me? I have a story for you with secret documents. Something I'm sure you'll be interested in. The newspaper must go to press for the late evening editions, and I have many things to attain. Oh, right. please, please. It's a matter of life of my family. So? Uh, Miguel. Take his to the relay quickly, huh? All right. These documents show that a conspiracy exists between certain members of your country and mine. Now, I've stolen them from the embassy. They're yours if you want them. Any prize, senor? Well, I've told you, my life, my wife, my child, our lives. If you just get us asylum, to become citizens of Mexico. So? May we go and talk in your office? If you like. Where are the papers? Well, my wife has them. She's waiting for me. Where? Well, she's waiting for me. The boys will. But I'll go to her, I'll get the papers and bring them to you, if you take them. <laughs> you people, the intrigue, drama, promises of violence, revelations, the easy words of your mouth, lie, death. Like the last time you came to me, eh, Senor Leco? What? Not a year ago, you were here. And then you had another thing to say. Oh, please, please. Listen to of Dr. Ramiro. Remember? The professor of electronics at the University of Mexico. He too was in conspiracy, you told me then. But it was false. A savage lie. You wish to relieve us only of his knowledge of nuclear fission. That was a lie. I understood it. But that was when I first came here to Mexico. Before I had seen your people, before I had known what freedom meant. I was under orders to say that. That was a lie. But this is... What this, this, this is of a pebble, senor. The story of the boy, the boy who cries wolf once too often. Please, you know it is a man who cries wolf. You've got to believe me. Uh, not I, senor Lego. I have more wisdom of you now. Go, run in the streets. Cry wolf to the mosques of the fiesta. Perhaps one of them will believe. Not us. Get out. Kill me, my wife, my child. Go, go, cry wolf. Cry wolf. Hello, this is Rex Marshall speaking for Autolite. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. Well, now that we've uh, inherited some more or less nice summer weather, I guess everybody's feeling a lot better than they did in the drizzly days of spring. 
That is everybody but that poor little character, Lester the Limousine. Oh, he's not feeling better. He's feeling awful. In traffic, Lester is always the last one to get away. And it's a real struggle for him to get up the hill. And as for gasoline, oh, that Lester, he really burns up the dough. Well, I hope your car isn't as badly off as Lester the Limousine. But if it isn't giving you top performance, maybe uh, your spark plugs are at fault. Because, you know, if they're not right, your car's performance will really suffer. So that's why it's a very good idea to have your plugs checked regularly by your Autolite spark plug dealer. Now, if you need replacements, he'll recommend a set of ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs. Like, for example, the famous Autolite resistors, the greatest advance in spark plugs for automotive use in the past 20 years. Let me show you how it works. You see, every spark is divided into two parts like little Sparky here. There's the advanced portion, which is most effective in igniting the fuel mixture, and behind is the less effective tail end that damages by burning away spark plug electrodes. But watch what the Autolite resistor does. It cuts off most of the less effective portion of the spark, but allows most of the effective portion to pass through. Well, now all this means that the Autolite resistor spark plug gives double spark plug life, smoother engine performance, and quick start. <laughs> well, you know, this amazing double life spark plug is just one of a complete line of ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs for every use. So why don't you take my advice and visit your Autolite spark plug dealer soon. You can find him wherever you see this sign or simply call Western Union by number and ask for operator 25. That's right. Call me, Operator 25, and I'll quickly tell you the location of your nearest Autolite spark plug dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. second act of The Man Who Cried Wolf, starring Martin Brooks. Senor, but no documents. You say your uh, wife has documents, but you do not. So look out. Ah, here we are. Let us look out. The Department of Justice has a dossier on you. I was sure of it. In 1952, you reported that a certain Professor Ramirez of the university erroneously reported, I must say. It was a lie then. I was under orders to say that. And are they, uh, no lies, senor? No, I was under orders to say that then, but this is different. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you the truth. My life is in danger. Well, then you, uh, wish protection? Yes. For my wife, my child. We're people without a country. We do not want to go back to Russia. Uh, senor, you're yes. a Russian national. Yes. Of uh, the embassy. Has your, uh... Embassy been informed that this thing is about to happen to your life? Oh, don't you understand? They're the very people that are trying to kill me. I understand only that you and your embassy once endeavored to involve my country with your life. Give me the Russian embassy, please. Don't! Why don't you people stop peddling your lies? The Russian embassy.
It was good of you to come. You gave me your message. And listen to me. I was not completely honest with you this morning. When I told you we were called back to Russia, it was true, but not for a promotion. I have been too friendly with the Mexicans and the Americans. My country suspects what is true, but I can no longer be loyal to the Soviet Union. I have some papers, documents that prove a conspiracy exists concerning your government and mine. I have those papers. With you? No. No, my wife. Is. Waiting for me in the plot. No, I tried to sell these documents to the newspapers and the Department of Justice. Sell them for what? For my life. My wife, my child. But they would not believe me. Newspapers in the Department of Justice? Yes, they remember the Ramiro matter, and they would not believe me. I have the idea. What? I have a friend in, in the police. I could tell him of you, and perhaps he could help. Oh, but maybe you don't care for the police, Senor Leco. Go to him. Tell him. I have but to phone him. I will ask him to meet us at the cafe. Senor, you ask of the police the names of the members of your embassy are known, and yours. I will not concede the fact that I have known the creature I play with us last year. The matter of the professor in university. <laughs> this is the truth. What I tell you now is the truth. Now please hurry. The men from Why the should embassy. I believe you, senor? I saw his wife, Lilia, leave. I'll take you to her. I will not be made up. Fool. But I'll give you the papers. Leave him, Captain. Very well. We'll go to your wife. Better go around the other side of the square. But that is blocked too. My wife should be just over there by the fountain. I bet I can see her from here. Yes, there she is, the boy. Lilia! Lilia! I'm right approaching. My friends here and I will take you to your wife. Come on. Shouting communist propaganda to the crowd. But he says he has papers. Cardoza and the other one are in jail. Quite obviously spy. But he's not gone. Gracias. If you will. Please, senor, if I can get to my wife who has the papers, you'll understand. All we understand is you were retreating a crowd with communist propaganda. But I told you, I found that those men were in league with the communist Pepe and Cardopas. And the only way I could get rid of them was to have the crowd attack us. Oh, there is the He insists his wife has papers. I know through. papers which uh, prove a communist plot against the government. 
the same old story. Like a plan, will you learn? But it's the truth. Those men were going to help me. We were going to my wife. Lilia. 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 Oh, Meryl. Oh, I heard you shouting in the street, and I saw the fight, but they wouldn't let me in. Lilia. Big whistle. Big whistle. Yes, sir. Read these. You would not believe me, but you would believe us. Now, please, you must help us. Without your help, we're lost. They'll send us back to our death. We want to stay in this country, to become citizens of Mexico. This is Rivera. Get me to the central office. Rivera. Do you make the necessary arrangements to give asylum to two Russian nationalists? Meris Lakar and his wife. Sir, there are three. Our little boy. Make that uh, three Russian nationalities. Meris Lakar and his wife... Uh, Lilia. And... Uh, Ivan. Lilia. And uh, Ivan. So we come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our story for next week and the name of our stars. Right now, the reason I'm getting fixed up in gloves and goggles is that I'd like to show you a demonstration, something that points out something particularly interesting about automobile headlights. Now, if you puncture an ordinary seal beam unit, as a flying stone might do, you'll find that the light goes out. But if you do the same thing to an Autolite bullseye seal beam headlight, it continues to burn, giving you extra protection. And also, the Autolite bullseye seal beam headlight gathers up, so to speak, the spray reflected beams and adds them to the main driving beam, throwing more light on the road. So remember, won't you, for increased visibility and greater safety, always insist on the Autolite bullseye seal beam headlight, the one that fits every make of car. Remember, from bumper to headlight, you're always right with Autolite. story will be entitled See No Evil, the dramatic story of a nightclub singer starring Betty Jane Watson, leading lady of the fabulous musical Oklahoma, and John Conti, well-known leading man. See No Evil, another story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Tonight thrills Danger on the CBS Television Network.